Okay, today we're checking out the latest release of Launchbox and how to set this up. This is going to be a beginner's guide. The last time I actually did a Launchbox setup was for what was then the latest release, which was 13.15, which was back in July 2024. So what do we need? First of all, of course, we need some games and we've got two versions of Launchbox. We've got the basic version and we've also got the more premium version. Now, I've actually got a license for the premium version, which I'm going to go through in the minute but let's actually set you up with the latest release of launchbox this is version 13.20 which released in february 2025 now if you're wondering what launchbox is it's a front end so you could get all your retro games and pretty much just play them on your pc in a nice glossy way so what we're going to do first of all is actually head over to the launchbox website i'll leave the link in my description but it's fairly easy to find and this is also available these days on Android as you can see so we're going to download the Windows version of Launchbox and what we need to do next is just pop in an email address pop in your email address go to download and then that will then give you a link in your email inbox so download Launchbox and it really is that simple now of course we're going to need some ROMs for this so what I'm going to do is actually just download a single NES game from itch.io I've already downloaded the game itch.io provides some very good homebrew games modern day games for vintage or retro platforms so what I've got on my desktop then is the Launchbox set up dot executable i've also got my license dot xml file for the premium version of big box and i've got my nes game too so let's actually set up launchbox first so i double left click on the launchbox dot executable windows protected your pc more info we're going to go to run anyway and of course we need to set up the language for us so by default this is in english that's good and I accept the agreement. We're going to go to next. Next thing we're going to need to do is give this uh, install location. So by default, this is going to go into my users folder, into my system folder, which is Jamie. And from there, it's going to create a folder called Launchbox. Now, you can install this wherever you want. If you just go to browse, you can see you can place this Launchbox wherever you want. But I'm going to just stick with the default location. We're going to go to next. Next, we're we're going to create a start menu folder so just check this one and we're going to go to next and finally install And if you should get a pop-up appear saying DirectX SDK and do you want it to allow changes to your device just press yes on this Okay, and we're going to instantly boot up into Launchbox version 13.20. Okay, and this is what we're going to see then. So first of all, this is going to look a little bit overwhelming for some people. We're going to import ROM files. So what I'm going to do is left click on this one, and this is going to open up a wizard. If I press next... Select the files to import. Now, as you know, I've got a NES game on my desktop. It's not in a folder. So what I'm going to do in this case is just go to add files. If you've got your games in a folder, then obviously just direct this to that folder location. But like I say, and as we know, I've just got a single file for this tutorial. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to look for that game. If I just scroll down, here is my game. So .NES, if I double left click. And here we go, it's now added to the import. So I'm gonna to go to next. And what platform are you importing games for? So of course it's the Nintendo Entertainment System. So if I just drag this down, I'm gonna look for Nintendo Entertainment System. And here we go. I'm then gonna to go to next. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is install RetroArch. Now, RetroArch is going to freak a lot of people out because of its complexity, but this is going to be very simple to do. So, we need to install this in order to play the game. And just remember, Launchbox is the front end itself. So, Launchbox is going to give you the artwork, whilst RetroArch will work in the background power in your games that you play. So, left click on Install RetroArch. And from here, what we're going to do, we're going to allow Launchbox to copy my game into the Launchbox Games folder, which we'll go into shortly. So if I left click on the top one here, and if I go to next, next thing we're going to need to do is just select some artwork for this. Now, if we go to check all, it's going to check everything and download pretty much everything. But that's entirely up to you to go through this selection. 
If I just check everything for this and go to next. Okay, next thing we're going to see is configure MU Movies. Now, MU Movies is going to be best used, especially if you're using Big Box. It does what it says. It's going to give you video clips of your games or video previews. So, sign up with MU Movies. Go to configure MU Movies and just enter your details. And once you've done that, go to next. And we're going to go to next again. And this is now scanning for my game. And as we can see, it's now ready to import into the Launchbox interface. If I go to finish... And at the top center of the screen, we can now see it's doing its work for us. And as we can see, it's now downloading and it's going to install RetroArch so we can play our games. And there we go. So everything seems to be working just fine. We've got RetroArch installed as well as our Nintendo NES game has just been imported. So let's actually test if this game is working. If I just go to double left click on the game. And we can obviously just take away these little boxes which appear in. Okay, so let's go to play. And there we go. We're straight into the game. So I've got my Xbox controller. Okay, so everything's working perfectly. Now, what I'm going to do to exit this game is just press F1 on my keyboard, and that's going to bring us into RetroArch Quick Menu. Now, if you're interested in more complex stuff with RetroArch and even basic stuff like what I'm about to do, I'll leave the link in my description and even in the comments so you can actually check out what you can get from RetroArch, and that's going to work just fine in combination with Launchbox. So from here, we're just going to exit out of the game. I'm using my Xbox controller and if I press the B button on it this is going to bring us to the RetroArch main menu if I scroll downwards and go to quit by pressing my A button and there we go we're now out of the game completely so what we're going to do next then is actually take a look at the installation folder of where this is installed so as we remember from the beginning of installing launchbox i asked launchbox to install itself into the default location which was my system folder so what i'm going to do is look for my system folder and i'm going to go into my c drive i'm going to go to users and here's my system folder which is jamie and from here we'll find a launch box folder and here we go this is where launchbox is installed now the beauty with launchbox these days is everything's very much simplified compared with the last round of tutorials are still and things have changed a lot so inside of this installation folder you're going to find a couple of things here we got a games folder and here this is everything that launchbox supports if we go down towards nintendo entertainment system here it is we're going to find it's actually imported my NES game inside of that folder. Now, if you want to put more games inside of this folder, you can actually do it from here. So what we're going to do is download another NES game. And I'm going to show you this. So if we go back to itch.io, I'm randomly going to download the wit.nes demo, whatever this is. But I'm going to download this. And there's my game, I've just downloaded. Here's my game, and what I'm gonna do is just drag and drop that into that game's Nintendo Entertainment System folder. Now we need to open up Launchbox again. The only thing we've got here is the setup, and we don't want to open this up, so we're gonna delete that one, and we actually need to make a shortcut of Launchbox. So if I go back to where Launchbox is installed to, and we're going to find launchbox.executable. If I right click on this one, if I then go to show more options, I'm going to go to send to desktop create shortcut. And here we go. So if I open up launchbox from here, and here we go. Now, a lot of people, they will complain or even be very confused of how to open up launchbox when you've installed it. That's how to do it. It's very strange. But here we go, we're back into the latest launch box again, and this time round it's actually telling us the new features which this February release has actually got. So read that at your own leisure, but as you can see, there's a lot to go through with the latest release of this. 
Okay, and after a few seconds of having Launchbox opened, it's automatically imported to that NES demo, which I've just downloaded. So again, just a simple case of left clicking and going to play. And I've really no idea what this is about, but this was just an example. So again, I'm gonna press F1 press B and just go down to quit and it's that simple okay at the top of the screen we got free version now of course we've actually got the big box premium version of launchbox what we're going to do is if you're interested in buying this I'm not sure what the offers are at the moment but once you've downloaded and paid for it you're going to get a license.xml file like I've got just here which I bought last year at some point what we're going to need to do then is actually go to the Launchbox directory. So if I right click on the Launchbox shortcut, open file location, what you need to do is drag your license.xml inside of this folder. And if I then open up Launchbox again, okay, and it's actually been a lot longer than I actually thought, but my license for Launchbox Premium isn't valid because, well, it was quite some time ago so anyways that's how you put your license into launchbox and if you have got a recent up-to-date license then at this point it will say that you're a big box user and from there you can actually use big box which gives you a totally different look altogether so some will argue that my retro bat tutorials in particular are a lot nicer and better than something like launchbox because a retro bat is absolutely free even emulation station desktop edition and many more which i've covered on my channel channel are also free but some still prefer the paid version of launchbox so what we're going to do is just press no on this and i'm going to end up buying a license for this at some other point and that's it for today's latest release of launchbox and how to set that up so like i said at the start of the video it's been a little while since i last bothered with launchbox but it's a lot easier to use of this day and age compared with a couple of years ago when i was last doing many different setup guides for it now like i say in the video for retro watch i'll leave in the comments section the direct link to a very comprehensive yet very accessible to all retro watch setup guide and that's going to show you how to save your games using in RetroArch whilst you're booting up your games through Launchbox. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release setup guides and I also focus a lot on gaming nowadays in general, such as ranking various different arcade ports, so be sure to check those out. Anyways, again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay retro.